Hey YouTube, what's up? 8-Bit Gamer here bringing you another game, Pixel Dungeon. I was running around looking for a new game on the App Store and stumbled on this one. It was highly suggested by a friend, uh, the same friend who suggested I play Ordering Chaos 1 again, and I said, hey, why not? Uh, maybe get some attention on the channel. So here it is. Uh, basically, what the game is, is a roguelike... Um, RPG turn-based fighter game. I don't know. It's it's strange. Um, you get to pick four classes. Um, you can't use the fourth class until you beat the third boss, I think, with um, any of the other classes. It doesn't really matter. Um, I have been told that the warrior is the easiest class to go with, so I'm going to go ahead and go with that one. Many heroes of all kinds ventured into the dungeon before you. Some of them have returned with treasures and magical artifacts. Most have never been heard of since. <laughs> That's kind of depressing. Uh, good to note, though. But none have succeeded in retrieving the amulet of Yendor, which is told to be hidden in the depths of the dungeon. You consider yourself ready for the challenge, but most importantly, you feel the fortune smiles on you. I do. I do indeed. I do. All right. Um, it's time to start your own adventure. Let's get into it. Yes. The dungeon lies right beneath the city. Its upper levels actually can constitute the city's sewer system. Being nom nominally. I don't think I've ever heard that word. Wow, vocabulary really fares me well in school, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Okay. Continuing. A part of the city... Uh, these levels not that dangerous. No one will call it a safe place, but at least you won't need to deal with evil magic here. I have a feeling that's slightly sarcastic. Welcome to the level one of Pixel Dungeon. Be cautious, since the dungeon is even more dangerous at night. Right, it's nighttime, of course, why wouldn't it be? Um, controls? How do you walk? Um, you don't know what is there. Okay. Search. Searched. Oh. Is that how this works? You just kind of tap where you're going. Okay, so you tap on the block where you're going. That's interesting. Um, a reminder, the game is turn-based. Is that door locked? Um, you don't have a matching key. Okay, yeah, so it is locked. Um, so I'm not super, super familiar with this game, but I do know that it's challenging and relentless and unforgiving, and you can only die one time, and once you die that one time, you have to restart the entire dungeon. Um, and that's a pain. So, these are the stairs I'm looking for, actually. Right there. So, okay, you can leave the screen now. You don't have matching key, whatever. Okay. Kind of get an overlook. Um, so, if I... That's a clock. Um, nope. Um, if I examine... That's the floor. If I examine... Nope. Crap! The question mark examines, and if I examine myself, you can see that I'm a level 1 warrior. Um, my strength is 11, my health is 20, my experience is 0 of 10, my gold collected is 0, and my maximum depth is, depth is 1. I'm pretty sure depth is each floor. And buffs, I don't have any buffs. Um, I'm not sure exactly how buffs work. Journal, a journal will, if I recall correctly, take kind of note of every... A rare place you've been. So, okay, let's continue. There, okay, so, <laughs> those are monsters, those are fish, and I think they will kill me. Fish. Crap! Holy crap, no! Oh my god, I've almost died already. That would suck. <laughs> 
You hit giant piranha. Giant piranha hit you. Giant piranha hit you. Giant piranha hit you. Giant piranha. Okay. Um, that was horrifying. Nope. Moving. Moving. Crap. I died. <laughs> Great. I've been off the game for five minutes and I've already died. Wow. This game is unforgiving. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Let me get some water. Okay. Um, new plan. Start new game. Okay, so the dungeon's completely different. Okay, so it looks like every time you restart the game, it will have a new dungeon design. That's exciting. Wow, this is dark. Ooh, a chest! Hold on, what did the sign say? Don't overestimate your strength. Use weapons and armor you can handle. Okay, good to know. I will try to abide by those rules. Money! So if I go into my... Oh, I have an inventory. Okay, so if I check my inventory, let's see what I've got. I've got a short sword. 11. I'm not sure what 11 means. Maybe that's its strength. It is indeed quite short, just a few inches longer than a dagger. This short sword is a tier 1 melee weapon. Its average damage is 6 points per hit. You hold the short sword at the ready. Great. Um... Damage absorption 2. Hmm. Mm. I have 8 darts. These simple metal spikes are weighted to fly true and sting their prey with a flick of the wrist. I love how I read like all slow like I really don't know what I'm un what I'm reading, but I completely understand. Average damage of this weapon equals to Sorry, the grammar's horrible. It's absolutely dreadful. It's actually throwing me off. They put commas in stupid places and... Yeah. Average damage of this weapon equals to two points per hit. Great. Ration of food. Nothing fancy here. Dried meat. Some biscuits. Things like that. Great. Um, I'm not sure how much it heals me, but... Okay, uh, key ring. This is a copper key ring that lets you keep all your keys separately from the rest of your belongings. Yeah, separately. What? And, uh, 37 gold. So that's gold. Hold on, hold on. This page shows me equipment. Great. So, actually, I really don't need gold or want gold. I don't care. Um, I actually want better weapons. So, I'm looking for the stairs as well. Oh my god. Nope, not cool. Die! Okay, so if you tap the monster, it'll hit them. And I kind of wrecked him. Okay, there are the stairs. Um, but I kind of want to keep exploring to see if I can find a better weapon before I go to the second floor. Okay, I'm being chased. Hold on, let's go back and... Do you dodge it, you punk? Ha! Wrecked, son. I'm not sure if m m uh, monsters can drop things. Uh, choose the direction to throw. Mm, cancel. I want to know how the darts work. The rats come here. Ooh, what is this? What's it doing? Is it healing me? I don't know what that did. I feel like I should know. Yeah, I have no idea what's happening. Okay. That's exciting. Does that... What is that? Oh, that's just letting water out. Ooh! Die, fool! Die! Next time I'm gonna use darts, I promise. Okay, I'm guessing I can fall down the pits and die. But I have to be very careful tapping. Ooh! What is this? Small. Oh, it's a... <laughs> small. Ha! <laughs> Scroll! Manaz. Manaz. Manage. The scroll of Manage. This parchment is covered with indecipherable writing and bears a title of Rune Manaz. Who knows what it will do when read aloud? Should I read it? No. No, I'm not going to read it. It probably has some effect on monsters or something, and therefore I don't want to read it. 
And you look like a potion of some kind. Potion of strength. This powerful liquid will course through your muscles, permanently increasing your strength by one point. That's great. Permanently? Hold on. Permanently? What's my strength now? Examine yourself, child. Um, strength 11. Okay, well, let's make it 12 then. Why the heck not? Drink! Yay! Your strength has been increased! Sweet. Okay, I'm wasting a lot of time. Let's get going. This game is actually a lot of uh, fun. I'm enjoying myself. What are you? Oh, there's so many items. Seed of earth root. Throw this seed to, pl to the place where you want to grow an earth root. When a creature touches an earth root, it roots create its roots create a kind of natural armor around it. Okay, um, that's interesting. Crap. Oh, I forgot to... <laughs> keep forgetting to use the darts, dang it. Okay, perfect dart time. Bam! Okay, oh my god, darts are horribly weak. I'm a beast, son! Back up! I don't... F we... You... <laughs> what do you think I was gonna say? No cussing on this channel. I promise. Wow, what am I touching? That was my pinky. I have my screen on max sensitivity. <gasps> What are you? Oh, I know what you are. You are... Hold on. Do I have to examine you? Nope, I picked you up. What did you do? Oh, you restored my health one. Okay. So if my health... Um, is that it? Okay. We're making good, uh, good progress here. Die, fool. Die, fool. Okay, so it looks like they don't have health. Maybe eight. Seven or eight. Ooh. Hello. What? Ooh. Tomahawks, they, toma, tomahawk, tomahawk, it's a tomahawk, okay, tomahawks have, I have eight, okay, so they're, they're like darts, they're throwable, uh, 17, what does 17 mean, that has to be, I don't know, okay, this throwing axe is not that heavy, but it still requires su significant strength to be used effectively, average damage of this weapon equals to 12 points per hit, sweet, oh, wait, wait hold on, there was more, because of your inadequate strength, the accuracy of... Okay, so that's what my strength requires for me to be able to use the weapon efficiently. Hmm, I wonder what happens if you use it inefficiently. Can I, like... No, don't throw, don't drop. Um, was that it? That was the whole first floor? Sweet! That was the entire first floor. That wasn't half bad. Um, I assume... Oh, no. Hold on. There's more. I didn't check everything. Ah. Uh, um, wow, that went to nowhere. Absolutely nowhere. That was great. Well, um, th that was sort of successful. <laughs> I died the first time, but I'm, I'm alive now. That's good. So, um, I, I really want to make it to, uh, the end of the game, but if I can make it to, uh, the fifth floor... That would be amazing, just for the sake of, um, videos. <laughs> Ooh, a monster. Dory! Dory! Oh, he dodged it. Ah, fool. Oh my god, it's enemy galore. Welcome to level two. Now you are healthier and more focused. It's easier for you to hit enemies and dodge their attacks. Great. Marsupial Rat is the name of those monsters. Um, just FYI for anybody who actually cares. Okay, that is all the time I have for today. So if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button, like, comment if you want, and I will catch you guys in the next episode. Gamebot out. 8-Bit Gamer out. <laughs>